Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe button. So guys, I just want to take this time to really just kind of gloat and say, I told you so. Everybody who thought that this New Gods movie was going to happen, I said... Two years ago when this thing was announced, the thing isn't going to happen. They have no idea what they're doing in the DCEU right now. Uh, the Flash has been in production hell for God knows how long. How many different directors cycled in, cycled out. We're looking at Black Adam. Just when is this thing actually going to get off the ground? This is another project that's been announced years ago. And Ava DuVernay was going to direct the New Gods movie. As well as James Wan was going to produce the Trench film, which also got canceled. So Ava DuVernay comes out with Tom King and they address the New Gods cancellation. This movie is no longer being made. And I, for one, just say, well, that's probably a good thing. Uh, if you ever seen, a, you know, Ava DuVernay, I don't have no hate on her. Um, you know, I think she, she has some hits, she has some misses, I'm not gonna, you know, her last movie that came out that was for Disney that absolutely flopped, I forgot, Wrinkle in Time, I believe it was, you know, everybody has their good moments and everybody has their bad moments, I'm not gonna hold her accountable for Wrinkle in Time, but... I just don't think Ava DuVernay was right for what DC was trying to do at this particular time. I would like to see Ava DuVernay get another chance at a comic book property, that, you know, instead of New God, maybe something else, maybe over back with Disney, maybe Disney gives her another shot to do something. It just New God never made sense. And then when you you count for what Snyder did, showing Dark Side, Granny Goodness, like like all that in in the Snyder Cup. People are not going to relate very well with the new gods. They're just not going to do that. They're going to be like, everything that WB does from this point forward, everybody's going to compare it to the Zack Snyder cut. The Restore the Snyderverse has been trending. People are like, more people are gaining to this. This thing is not slowing down. Right now, Warner Brothers is in a tough spot because they do have, you know, the Flash and all this stuff that's supposed to come out, Shazam 2. And if these things don't, you know, turn out well, it's just going to put more pressure on Warner Brothers. So why would they want to commit even more to this type of story when we don't really, we don't know what the future of the DC, like the trench idea, I said that was stupid from the beginning. I was like, hey, let's take this five minute scene from Aquaman and let's turn it into a whole movie. Like why? It doesn't make any sense. You literally have Superman. You need to do Man of Steel 2. You need to do a Batman. Like you have all these different characters that need movies and you're focusing on new gods and you're focusing on Trench. And this was one of the biggest problems with Warner Brothers is they have no sense of what the fans actually want. It's like they're sitting in a room and they're just like, okay, you're getting this movie, you're getting this movie, you're getting this movie. And like, like none of it connects to shit. And that was the problem. They did not think anything through. And then you have someone like Zack Snyder, whether you like his film or you don't like his film, at least his Man of Steel, BVS, just like it was very thought through. And you see where he wanted to go with it, where you look at since Snyder stepped away, you had Aquaman, which was a success, that was still attached to the Snyder verse. But since then, Shazam did okay. Birds of Prey didn't do well, and Wonder Woman 84 didn't do well. Every film since that has done absolutely awful. So what are you what are you doing? What are you doing over there? You have to cancel these movies because they were a horrible idea from the very get-go, and it's not because of Ava DuVernay. You know, yes, I, I threw out Wrinkle of Time and I kind of threw it in her face. Everybody has a bad day at the office. Everybody, you're not always gonna hit out like even Steven Spielberg has bad days at the office. But you learn from it, you push forward, and you just keep going. So I don't blame Ava DuVernay, I blame Warner Brothers for being complete fucking asshats and not being able to, to recognize what the people actually want. But it's finally canceled. I told everybody over a year ago this was gonna be canceled. So I was right, ha ha ha. Uh, but yeah, seriously, uh, it, it's probably for the best. But I want to know what you guys think. Were you guys looking forward to New God? Are you glad it got canceled? Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion. Later, guys.